I've been meaning to make this video all summer long, and unfortunately I waited until it's now almost winter in Colorado to create the video. So you'll see a lot of these plants are kind of dead or dying off, but I wanted to talk you through some of the things that we can do while we are living in an urban area in downtown Denver. So you can see there's a hotel here in the distance and pretty much high urban area, but we can do all kinds of things on our balcony here. This is from our condo balcony, but uh, we actually lived in an apartment as well. So this is my second balcony actually growing things. And our tomatoes did very well this year. We can see that we grew them in five gallon buckets. And initially I had them set kind of over here in the corner just in front of the bike tire but found that they weren't getting enough sun there so I got these shelving units uh, for $20 at Home Depot and then actually you can see the orange Home Depot buckets and I planted one tomato plant in each of these buckets and we've got a very plentiful tomato harvest this year out of those three five gallon buckets. Moving over here these are actually apple trees and at some point I want to have land where I can plant apple trees and so I planted these apple trees in these planter boxes. You can get them pretty much anywhere. But I just grew those from seeds. This is the first year of those seedlings. You can see here moving along this is rosemary. Rosemary doesn't grow really well in Colorado like it does in other more humid areas but we got some rosemary to actually use for seasoning things that we ate this summer. Going on to the next planter box here. This looks very dead, but it's actually not. This is mint. Our mint went crazy this summer. It looks kind of dead right now, but it's not actually dead by any means. I just went out of town and it didn't get watered while I was gone. I neglected to water it really well before I left. It will come back. These are pepper plants. Now our pepper plants didn't do very well. We are on the seventh floor. And pepper plants need a lot of dirt and a lot of sun. We didn't get enough sun to really have them grow well. I don't know that I would actually do pepper peppers again on a balcony. This was kind of an experiment, but we got aphids, and I don't know where the aphids came from. We're on the seventh floor, but I'll zoom in here and see if you can see any of the aphids, see if the camera will focus in. Uh, but there's actually aphids on this pepper bud right here, and you can't see them because the camera's not focusing in on it. In any case, I don't recommend growing peppers unless you have a lot of dirt. Again, a five gallon bucket like we did with the tomatoes probably would have been a better bet. And then we might have wanted to find some native ladybugs to eat our aphids. There's also some spray you can put on like a soapy spray that supposedly gets rid of the aphids. I don't know, but we dealt with some aphids this summer. Going over next, we have thyme and the thyme went really well. Sage there in the corner has died off. And then this is basil. Our basil plant went crazy as well this summer. This is not dead. Again, this is suffering the consequences of me having been out of town, but I'll show another video here of what it actually looks like now. And then I planted a strawberry plant. It didn't do well. I planted snap peas. They didn't do well. And I planted cucumbers. And the cucumbers also did not do well. I put up some lines to try and get the cucumbers to grow, and they just didn't do very well. I think where they were, they did not get enough sun. This is parsley, and it went crazy. But this planter, it was too hard to keep the parsley wet in this planter box. So what I would really recommend, get bigger planters and you can mount them on any vertical wall. But I don't recommend this kind of partitioned plastic box unless you want to water three times a day in a hot climate. Finally, we come to the kale and the kale just went crazy this summer. We've had so much great kale out of that little planter. I've just been really impressed. And being in a downtown area, you might think that you couldn't grow things. But the key, I think, is to find a vertical wall like what we've got there. Then just use the space that's available to you. Our balcony faces southwest. Because we face southwest, we do get a decent amount of afternoon sun, but we don't get any morning sun because we're blocked by the buildings. If you find yourself in a place that you don't have a lot of sunlight, I would recommend going with herbs and things that don't get color when they actually grow other than green. Green vegetables and things that you actually eat the leaves of them tend to do very well without a lot of direct sunlight. So any sort of herbs or seasonings that you might be able to grow should grow very well depending on what climate you're in and how much sun you get where your balcony is. But you really can use a very small balcony space very effectively if you have a vertical growing space and actually use it well to grow a variety of herbs and green leafy vegetables. If you liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up below. Be sure to subscribe as we have more helpful videos almost every single day. If you have any questions that we can answer for you, please be sure to come and visit us at showmehowtodothis.com.